Hey everybody, and welcome to another Hunters Connect video. Uh, today, on today's video, I'm going to run through some of the things that you're going to go out and get before you go waterfowl hunting. Now, before I start into that, I just want to say that waterfowl hunting is a fairly gear intense activity, and so you can go as crazy as you want on the number of pieces of gear that you get, or keep it simple. This is just kind of a run through on the basic stuff that you're going to want to have, depending on what activity, what type of waterfowling you're going to do. Um, we're going to start with clothing and then we'll move on from there. So you want to get yourself a good pair of boots, um, some bibs and a coat uh, to start. So just a good set of rubber boots like this will go a long ways. Um, another, like I said, a good coat, something waterproof, um, windproof helps a lot. Um, you're going to be hunting in a lot of inclement weather. So, you know, a, a, a nice good coat. Um, there's a ton of different brands that make awesome gear. This is just the one that I have. Um, like I said, a good set of bibs. And a lot of times you're going to be wearing bibs and a coat and some rubber boots like this if you're doing a lot of field hunting. Now, if you plan on doing a lot more water hunting, another essential piece of waterfowling gear is going to be a set of waders. Um, I've had I don't know how many sets of waders through the course of my waterfowling career, but uh, get yourself a good pair of waders, something that's not going to leak and uh, that you can hold on to for several seasons before having to, to re-up. Um, but a good set of waders is definitely an essential piece of gear for the waterfowling world. All right, so moving on from there, uh, you're obviously going to want a shotgun um, before you go waterfowl hunting. So whatever it is, whether you want a pump gun, a semi-auto, 12 gauge, 20 gauge, 410, whatever your um, choice is. Be sure to have a shotgun and then some of the other things are going to be like decoys blind bags um, and this is just a real simple breakdown of that so uh, if you're going to do more field hunting whether you're goose or duck hunting you're going to want to have field decoys uh, these have a stake that sits underneath and those just stick right into the ground um, and sit up off the ground so they're visible to the to the ducks and geese now if you're hunting water you're going to have something that looks more like this, weighted keel on this, so they sit upright in the water um, with decoy line so they don't float away. Um, but yeah, a good set of decoys, whether you're duck or goose hunting, um, goes a long ways. And again, you can go as crazy as you want on decoys and buy many dozens or keep it simple and have a smaller spread. You're going to want to pick up some calls and uh, either throw them on a lanyard like this or have individual lanyards. You don't have to have a whole bunch of calls hanging around your neck. I've just been collecting over the years and these are my favorite ones to blow. It took me a long time to pick up a blind bag finally, but it does help organize a ton of the gear. So I keep, try to keep everything in here. Um, I'll even throw my license in the top here. There's a waterproof pocket. Um, but in a blind bag, you can keep things uh, like your shells, extra calls, snacks, water, um, just to kind of keep everything in a single location so you're not hunting for it, you're not throwing it in pockets you're going to forget about. Um, just a much easier way to keep all of your gear organized in a smaller location. Now if you are doing a lot of field hunting, you're going to want to pick up a layout blind. And I've got this one right here. Um, basically these, you lay them out in the field, you put stubble in them, whether it be corn or wheat or whatever type of field you're in these stubble straps, and then you lay in that and the doors open up when the birds are coming in. So this is just a, uh, a nice ground blind. And uh, yeah, if you're doing a lot of field hunting, you're definitely gonna want one of those. But yeah, above and beyond that, like I said, you can go as crazy as you want. Um, boats and kennels and however many dogs you want. Um, it doesn't matter, you can either keep it simple or go crazy, but just know that getting into waterfowl hunting can be a gear intensive sport and uh, start small and then move on from there. 